A memory of Raven from Kevin's perspective flashed across Teresa's mind. Kevin and Raven? Is this a recent happening? Wait, why do you know what's happening inside World Serpent? Haven't I told you that I'm the will of Castlana Stigmata? I'm not from your dream. I'm a living administrator of Stigmata. I can find a way to receive the real Kevin's memory fragments. And due to Project Stigma, the boundary between us will blur. The boundary between you and Kevin? Or the boundary between you and me? Both, actually. I said until now, no one person on Earth has lost their life due to Project Stigma. That's because at the end of the project, realize stigmata will replace humans, and dreamified humans will become one with the past stigma space. Regardless of what that actually means, it's related to my situation, right? Yes, the moon is a key point in Project Stigma. You approach the moon unwittingly, thus becoming the first sacrifices. However, due to Vishnu's trait, you didn't sink into the dreams but devoured them along the way. Wait, that means for the ordinary people, They'd get lost in the initial dream, like the same Freya where Himiko was that I dreamed of. Yes, their consciousness will be converted into an existence the same as Stigmata and recede to the interstices of the imaginary world. Correspondingly, the thoughts in Stigmata will be given form, gradually descend to the external space, and replace people in their sleep. Stigmata will replace humans? The Asian Project Stigma aimed to screen the entire population for every stigma awakened at all costs? The stigma awakened holds remarkable value but they're only the intersection of stigma and humans, the most primitive guarantee of Project Stigma. Let me give you an example, Teresa. If fictional characters come alive, build their own world, and extend their limitless possibilities into the future, what do you think this world will be like compared to the current one? I don't know. It doesn't sound bad. If I add that those fictional characters are free from mortality and world destruction, do you still think it doesn't sound bad? Are you saying that? Since you've guessed it, I'll sum it up this way. If Shiksaw's mission is to find the right destiny, and the Entropy's mission is to defy the wrong destiny, then World Serpent's mission is to exceed destiny itself. The three missions are equal, but as has been repeated throughout human history, when people's aims are no longer compatible, justice and justice will inevitably clash. So, for World Serpent, since Project Sigma can prevent the final Hersher from descending, all its cause can be ignored. Things might not be that simple. As I said, Project Sigma will make Sigmata replace humans. They will fully inherit the human civilization. That way, from a planetary perspective, Earth would not only lose nothing, but also be sublime. Earth will be sublime? This is too abstract for someone trapped in a dream. Instead of trying to comprehend it, 
Perhaps this 50,000-year-old memory will serve you better. That is also one of the beginnings for the Kaslana family. Kevin, how did you feel seeing your child for the first time? He has her eyes. Is that so? We base them on your genes, since his mother was born nearsighted. Are you aware of the burden this child will bear? He may have to kill me. Oh wow! You suddenly sound so resolved. I regret it. If that's all you can say, you don't deserve to have her child. I'm only stating the facts. I also have facts to state. I'll personally hack into the final Hersher's body when it descends. So when it cycles again, I may slaughter your offspring clean with my own hands. You get to decide what kind of father you will be, but as your fellow flame chaser, I'll give you a word of advice. There's no point in dragging May's child into Project Stigma when you're shouldering it. The world will be so vast after the final Hersher descends. Before it cycles again, he has plenty of time to enjoy the freedom of being born a human. You people love that kind of freedom, don't you? Relax. Project Stigma is absolutely fair. When it comes into play, the finality, the destiny, the humanity. And even yourself are guaranteed to be crushed. That'd be the best. Hmm. <laughs> Anyhow, we're living in an underground cave. Oh, I'm not talking about this vault. We're merely primitive, chained into a cave and facing a blank wall with the fire behind us. Occasionally, shadows are projected on the wall. Those shadows are the world to us. This is okay for most primitives. They put their heart and soul into them, worshipping and extolling their made-up stories. Suppose, at long last, a primitive broke free from the chains and went straight outside the cave. It goes without saying that the outside world is unbounded and spectacular. The question is, do you think this primitive will stay outside or go back to save the others? They don't necessarily need saving. There are things that the primitive must do. Oh, that's an interesting answer. But Kevin, don't tell me you've... 
taken yourself as that fire in the cave. I'm not sure if I got it, but it sounds like for Kevin or the others, Project Stigma means more than conquering Hong Kai. Stigmata record their knowledge and your history. If we apply that allegory to our civilization, I fear that humans are the shadow on the wall, and stigmata are all things true outside the cave. Humans are prone to errors and depravity. They can create beauty, but they often destroy it. It's hard to deny that these are the reasons we're dominated by failure. Are you boasting the will of stigma? No, I'm only relating an idea. Compare with true forms, compare with awakened humans, I'm not even close. Forms? Forms are the common goal of humans and stigmata, especially so for people like you who've had stigmata written into your genes since 15,000 years ago. I think you clearly know what Hershers are. Forms are the polar opposite of Hershers. They're even quite similar in appearance. However, you've never seen a form, nor could recognize an equinox in front of you. Therefore, in your language, we can translate Project Stigma as to abandon the human's curse by Hershers and redefine civilization on another basis. Redefine civilization? Yes, I think you need to realize that. In some ideologies, humans are but a stepping stone for civilization. If you can't understand that notion, you may want to face your destiny first. Go, Teresa Apocalypse. That is a task you must face sooner or later. This is? There's eyes everywhere. Is this Kevin's dream? This is the deepest part of Kazlana's stigma space. In terms of Project Chimera, this is indeed Kevin's dream. Project Chimera? I believe you already know the origin of Kaslana bloodline. It's from the genes of those Hankai bees that have merged into Kevin's body. Various Hankai B's powers have accumulated and fused into his body, thus the name Chimera, but most people don't know. This is the reason why the stigma space exists in the first place. What do you mean? Kevin is the start of the stigma space? Do you remember how you come here, Teresa Apocalypse? By devouring dreams and following your guidance. As you can see, the stigma space can connect to a dream under certain circumstances. This is because Hong Kai thinks in dreams, and this is why your Vishnu can devour dreams. Unbelievable, isn't it? Humans can only think with the passage of time. You can't understand dreams where time is distorted, and neither can I. But it is such distortion that created a space outside reality and made it possible for a plan to catch a dream. In this case, even if one cannot become one with the power of stigma, they can exchange their physical forms with a dream, allowing the stigma to exist as the cornerstone of civilization in their place.
Unfortunately, Earth will be replaced by the Sigma space, and civilization will start anew from here. This process will begin simultaneously from both ends of the world. On the imaginary side, it is the original stigma space. On the real side, it is the destination of the finality and countless civilizations. Are you referring to the moon? Of course. I said it is the fundamental reason you, in orbit around the moon, were affected by Project Stigma. But if the moon is only an end of Project Stigma, does that make the other end of the Stigma space where we're in? Exactly. So what will your choice be? The new Shiksal Overseer. You can stop struggling and fall back into the dream. You can push yourself to your limit and awaken your stigma, or, or since this place is connected to a dream, I can devour this end and ruin Project Stigma. Your bravery is commendable, Teresa Apocalypse, but I wouldn't recommend that because you think I'm incapable. No, I'm talking about an external factor that's more direct. Look, he has indeed come. All of a sudden, what's going on? Nice to meet you, the new Shiksa Overseer. I'm Kevin. You can call me Kevin Kaslana. Since you came, I assume you know about Project Stigma. World Serpent has been trying to avoid confronting anti-Hankai forces, so this time I hope you and your organization will not impede the only way to purge Hankai. The only way to purge Hankai? Ever since leaving the Sea of Quanta, I've been watching you. I also learned your history through Void Archives. You've endeavored until now and achieved much better results than we did back then. But you're still powerless before the finality. The final Hersher is arriving shortly. This is a balance. Yang Shiksal Overseer. Not long ago, Raiden Mei helped World Serpent suppress the 12th Hersher. This means the courses of our two civilizations have coincided. In theory, World Serpent is able to delay its arrival for a year or two. But if we do that, the nature of the final Hersher will differ from what it was in the last era. From the Hersher of Reason to the Hersher of Corruption, and to the ascension of Raiden Mei and the others, although there were twists, the power of finality determined by the 13 Hershers is exactly the same as it was 15,000 years ago and is the only form of finality that we understand thoroughly. Leaving aside the situation before the first Hersher's birth, now our only chance is execute Project Stigma and purge Hankai once and for all. Are you saying that you've been waiting for this chance since the deep? That is plain to see. This is the only chance. Before it appeared, World Serpent had done everything they could to reduce the side effects of Project Stigma. But as far as I know, that's just changing humanity's death sentence to life sentence. You're free to draw comparisons, but I don't believe Earth's civilization has another way out. 
I underwent what happened fifty thousand years ago. I said, "You know nothing about Hong Kai." Teresa, your eyes are filled with rage, but you don't know to whom to direct it. Then allow me to test your quality. This is the Castellana Stigma space. Every power from the Castellana is equal here. Come, challenge me. Battle is the right way to think over this. I know about this jigsaw that you all speak of. You think the civilization is exactly what you think it is. That humanity is exactly what you all have passed down from generations to generations. That is but an arrogant delusion. We're no different from the nature on this earth. To make fire from wood, to slash and burn, even after we have flown to the space. Every wisdom in this galaxy is limited by how it exists. This isn't an obstacle you can overcome solely with your will. Do you know why birds can fly? When the meteor of finality crashed during the Cretaceous period, only the bird that could fly freely were able to escape. The inevitable. You're strong-willed, only if you weren't as strong-minded. Hmm. If this is all you've got, you'll be thinking with me all day. That won't be necessary. It's a waste of time to argue with the overly stubborn. Teresa Apocalypse. Brace yourself for a blow that contains the power of finality. <laughs>